Gonzaga baseball is coming off a historic season where the Bulldogs reached a top 10 ranking for the first time in program history. However, they enter this season with a new look roster. Our Andrew Quinn has more from Gonzaga. It is a brand new Gonzaga baseball team entering the 2023 season following the departures of the team's top three starting pitchers, but the team was still picked to finish first in the WCC in the coaches poll. This is in large part due to the team's new Friday night starter. Despite the loss of Gabe Hughes, Tristan Vreeling, and Will Kempner, head coach Mark Maktoff has all the confidence in the world in his new ace, Owen Wild. We feel comfortable that he's gonna come in and, and, and do well and, and have the bullseye on his chest now from day one. And he's a very mature kid, tough kid. Uh, so we, we feel good that he, on Friday night, we're gonna give, he, he gives us a good chance to win. Wild finished last season with just one loss and an ERA barely over three. He feels he is ready to go heading into one of the toughest non-conference schedules in the country. That's the way that we do things at this program. We, we choose to play the best teams we can to get us ready for the postseason. Uh, and I think it does a really good job of letting us know where we're at. We're playing the best of the best. So where, where do we match up with them? And, and come postseason, hopefully that'll, be, that'll, that'll get us there. The Zags have three more players on the preseason All-WCC team with Wild in Grayson Sterling, Xavier Pinales, and Cade McGee, last year's freshman All-American at third base. McGee says this year's team is entering the season with a lot to prove. It's nice to have, but it's also a big target because I'm going to get pitched different and I have a lot to prove just based off of having a good freshman year doesn't mean you're going to have a good next two years. So. There's a lot to prove there and, and continuously just working at my craft. The Zags begin the season Friday afternoon in Lubbock, Texas against number 24 Texas Tech. First pitch is set for 12 p.m. and the game can be seen on ESPN+. Reporting on the brand new turf at Steve Hertzfield at the Patterson Baseball Complex, Andrew Quinn, Creme 2 Sports.